Hello from Stumbles. And Fumbles. So today we're going to kind of give you a little step-by-step -step of how we set up our 5x8 um, conversion trailer when we get to a camp town or a campground. We're in uh, Williams, Arizona at Dogtown Lake camping right along, well not right along the lake, but pretty close. We'll show you that later, I'm sure. But anyway, we're going to go step-by-step -step on how we set it up and how easy it is when we get to a campground. So stick around. So the first thing we do when we get to camp is obviously we park, find a good spot, and then we place the chocks so that we can keep it from rolling forward, backward while we're sleeping in it. And I'll put one on this tire. And then usually we can do one on the front, one on the back, or we can put one on the other side and um, and decide which we put for today. And we will go ahead and put one on the front, one on the back. And then we'll move on to the next step. Right, so once we've got the trailer unhooked and leveled, then next we come here to the inside. And I will take out the shower and go ahead and put it in the sun so that it'll heat up and when we're ready to take a shower, it's nice and warm. So we'll put that over here in the front. And we filled it up already when we were at home, so it's all ready to go. The next, I will take out our uh, table that we made for the wheel, our homemade table. And go ahead and get that set up. That's so simple that it takes like a second. Okay, so that's all set up. Next, I'll take out our Jackery and we will keep our refrigerated cooler hooked up to this since we don't have any power out here. probably kind of out here because I'll put the refrigerated cooler right here so it can plug in so we'll do that next and this we kept plugged into the back of the Toyota while we were driving but for now we'll keep it plugged in to the Jackery I gotta get the cord Got the cord from the back of the Toyota. I'll get this plugged in. Turn it this way so you guys can see. So this one, I could do either. I could do the uh, USB, or I'm sorry, the 12 volt plug-in, which does come with this, or the uh, AC adapter, which comes with this too. We'll go ahead and do the AC. And now it's running, so we've got that plugged in, ready to go. So um, after I get that all set up, we'll go ahead and pull out everything else we have in here for the trip, which is our goal zero. Set that here for now. I got this nice case for it too, so the box was falling apart, so I finally got that. We'll pull out our canopy uh, that goes on the kitchen to give it some shade while we're underneath it. So if I just keep filming, you can probably yeah. set the whole thing up and I don't That's have right. to do anything <laughs> today. <laughs> so, and then let's see, we've got our portable shower, or I'm sorry, our portable privacy shelter. And last, our fold out collapsible table. So table we put between us while we're just relaxing it's not it's not like this but more of a camp table so that should pull out everything from the inside now we'll move to the back to the kitchen 
Okay, now we're back to the kitchen area. And what we'll do is we'll get this open. We'll go ahead and put our little piece of rebar here to keep the door open while I'm organizing it. Does that stay good on windy days? It does stay good on windy days. Sometimes we'll give it a little extra pound with a mallet or something to give it some um, extra strength in the dirt. But other than that, it stays pretty good. Um, then we'll come over to... Oh, looks like our oldest son left us a little gift. That's from you, Zoom. <laughs> okay, so we've got that there. Yeah, and I should explain, our oldest son used the camper the last, he was the last person to use the camper. So any odds and ends we find in here are probably left from him. So now I will set up the stove on the shelf. Take it out. Super quick and easy. Just set it up here. Turn this over, and then we'll also hook up the uh, the butane to this too when we're ready to cook. So that's all set up. We usually tuck this underneath, keep it out of the way, and then oh, I think that's about it. Everything's ready to. I usually put out the. Um, this is what we use to hold our trash bags. We can keep all of our trash in one place. And you know, this is what we do. We're kind of try to use every little, you know, thing we have on the trailer. So like this is perfect for holding the paper towels. And I usually strap the trash bag right here too, or the trash bag holder. And that will keep our trash, I'll put it back in there, but it'll keep it from flying all over the place. Oh, I have to hook up the water. So I keep it closed when we're traveling because the water, if you don't, it'll splash all over the place, which brings me to another addition that we've done to the trailer, a little upgrade. We realized the hard way that that happens, uh, two things. If you don't close this, it, it'll splash all over and leak into the front of the camper, get everything you have in there wet. And also, if you don't close, and these are human error, so we should know better, but if you don't close the back of this, uh, the drain plug in the back of the cooler, it'll leak all over the place. So what we did to help that solve that problem is we put a sealant. So we took some clear sealant and put it all along any gaps um, that set, you know, were between the kitchen and the sleeping area, filled it in. So that way, if there are any leaks, it's not gonna come into the sleeping area. So we can kind of contain it all to the back here. Um, okay, so back to the water. So I'll take the top off. And then I'll get the, the hose and pop it in. And now our water is set to go in our sink. So we'll get that. We just have to prime it. <laughs> there we go. Had some air in it. So there we go. So we now we've got our water to the sink. And that goes straight into your gray tank? Yeah, that goes into the gray tank. Um, we keep that hooked up when we travel. It's got a long enough pipe that if it's not too full, it doesn't splash all over the place. But yeah, so that's how simple it is to set this up. Everything else we pack before we go. If there's bread, anything that we you know want to put in there for the trip, we pack it at home. It's all ready to go. So quick and easy to set up. We're done. So what are you doing? Uh, so for t tonight for dinner we're having salad with peppers, tomatoes, um, some green onions, and some mahi-mahi. So I'm going to put that in the salad and make us some dinner tonight. Nice healthy dinner. Nice.